Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am so sorry that I kind of dropped off for Vlogmas. I didn't film for, I don't know how many, like five days maybe, maybe more. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I just, my mom came into town to visit. We had like a family photo shoot for the holiday photos. Um, I had some lab work done and I read my results before my doctor's appointment and I just had my doctor's appointment yesterday. And so if you're not like aware, I have had, I don't know if I still do, um, Hashimoto's hypothyroid. And I know over the last six plus months, I've been hyperthyroid. And so I had some more blood work done to check for Graves disease. And I was positive for that. So I got to get more blood work in six weeks without being on any medication from my thyroid at all, just to see where we go from there. So I've just been feeling kind of off the last few days, kind of emotional, having anxiety, and I just wasn't up to filming. So anyway, I thought in today's video, maybe I'll just film something easy, chill. I just got ready for the day and I have a whole bin of empties here that I thought I would share with you guys. So the first thing is the Pixie Skin Treats Glow Tonic. It has 5% glycolic acid and in its Ugh. and it's an exfoliating toner so I love this stuff I use this every single night so I use this one every single night and then there's another toner that I use in the morning but they do send this to me every now and again and this took a really long time to use up but I do use it every single night and I do have another one that they sent me so um I'll be well I've already started using that one but I love this stuff so much because I feel like it makes a really big difference in my skin, especially being consistent with using it like every single night. It's very gentle on the skin. I don't like the smell, but I feel like over time, like using it every single day that I've gotten used to the smell, so it doesn't bother me like it used to. And I think it's just the, probably the glycolic acid in it that smells, I don't know, you, you may have smelt this before. It kind of reminds me like of something that my grandmother used to use in skincare back in the day. I don't know. So it says, gently exfoliates to remove dead skin cells, revealing healthy, glowing skin for all skin types, clinically proven results, alcohol-free and hypoallergenic. So this is a 700 milliliter or 17 fluid ounce bottle. They do sell these now and again on their website, but it's it's not like regularly there. They'll just like kind of send an email out and say, you know, this is back for a limited time. So definitely try this, like try a smaller one if you like it. Get your hands on a really big one because it's it's amazing. I just feel like my skin looks smoother in texture when I use that consistently. If I go without using it for like a few days, I kind of notice my skin trying to creep back to the way it was. So it definitely makes a difference being consistent with it. The other one that I like using in the morning is this one. It's the Pixie Rose Tonic, Rose and Elder Flower Nourishing Toner. So this one naturally, it's naturally smoothing and rich in nutrients. This tonic helps to tone, balance pH, minimize redness and calm skin, rehydrates, replenishes and refreshes. Suitable for even the most sensitive skin types. I have sensitive skin. It's alcohol free, use AM and PM after cleansing. Like I said, I just use this one in the morning and I use the other one in the evening. So I just love both of those. Those are my go-to products. Actually, Pixie had sent me some like minis of this rose tonic and I loved it so much. I used all those up. If you watched my last empties video, which was a long time ago, I had quite a few of these used up and so I decided to buy the big ones. I wish it came in like this size, <laughs> but um, yeah, I love this stuff as well. I just feel like it really kind of like hydrates my skin and makes it glow. Well, both of these kind of make my skin have a nice glow to it. I just, those paired together are perfect for my skin. I love those. Another skincare product I used up is the Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm. Um, I'm almost done with my face cream from Belief. I love that as well. This is like my, these are like my go-to products. These are the ones I've been consistently using and I just see a huge difference in my skin when I use these. So I just think this is really nice and moisturizing under the eyes and it's my favorite. And I already purchased another one um, from Ulta when there was like a 20% off coupon. So I used up the Kirkland Daily Facial Towelettes. I show these in every empties video. I just always use those up um, to remove makeup, to remove swatches. Those are just my go-to wipes. 
And then I used up this Glam Glow Gentle Bubble Daily Conditioning Cleanser. Um, I got this in a BoxyCharm box and I finally used it up. It was nice. It was like a gentle cleanser on my skin. It says apply to wet face and gently massage evenly in circular motions. Rinse well and pat dry. Use daily. It doesn't really say anything else. I mean, I thought it was nice. I wouldn't purchase it because I prefer just my other moisture or my other cleansers. And I used up another Kirkland wipes. I used up these Evio Skin Refreshing Cleansing Hemp Wipes. I think I might have got these with an Ulta gift. I think I like these. I think they smelt good. I, I'm, I remember liking these. Yeah, I just remembered like it did get my makeup off nicely and I think it had like, oh, cause it has the hemp in it. It felt like a little oily, which I think really helped get the makeup off my skin. And it says natural, vegan, conscious, cruelty-free, gluten-free, paraben-free, toxic-free for all skin types. So yeah, I think I got this with an Ulta gift. I'm not sure. I wouldn't purchase it just cause I go to my, I use my Kirkland ones, but it was nice. So then I used up two native deodorants. These are the eucalyptus and mint. This is just my go-to deodorant. Right now I'm using one of their, two of their limited edition scents for the holidays. One is sugar cookie and the other one is peppermint, peppermint something. Maybe candy, maybe it's candy cane. I think it's candy cane actually. And I really was liking the candy cane one and then I switched to the sugar cookie the other day and I'm like, ooh, I like the sugar cookie one. I finally used up the Body Shop Coconut Body Mist. So I'm really sensitive to perfumes. I really don't use them anymore. They give me an instant headache, most perfumes anyway. I don't like floral scents. I like anything that's sweet, but even sweet perfumes these days, I'm just too sensitive to the smell. So I kind of just use like body spray, body mists, not very often. <laughs> um, but when I do, it's usually this, the coconut one. And then I also have one that I like from, ooh, I have enough from another brand. I just purchased it. I have an Ulta haul that I need to do, but yeah, I just, this is a coconut scent. It's just kind of a go-to. It's easy. It doesn't bother my senses. doesn't give me a headache. So I like that. And I, so I used up this, this, I think I got it in a BoxyCharm or maybe I got it with the Sephora point perk or gift. I don't remember. Sometimes I don't remember. I think I got this in a boxy charm because this is bigger than the like small samples I would have got from Sephora. You know, they're little tiny mini things. Spend 500 points and you get this tiny little sample. Like, nope. <laughs> so this is the Sol de Janeiro and this is the Coco Cabana Cream Moisture Magnet Oil in Water Body Cream. This stuff is so good. I really like this. I tried the yellow one. Everybody raved about the yellow one. I had a sample, I tried it. At first I liked the smell, but then it has this perfumey smell that like just sits on your skin that I do not like because I'm too sensitive to the smell. This one is just so much better for me. It just smells kind of like cocoa butter, buttered popcorn, like kettle corn. I don't know, not everybody probably wants to smell like that, but I do, it smells good to me, I loved it. It leaves like this very like glossy finish to your skin. It's very uh, moisturizing because it does have oil in it. I don't know, it's just like instant hydration. I really like this. I would consider purchasing that because I, I like that a lot. Used up the number seven Lift and Illuminate Triple Action Serum Foundation. This was like one of my favorite foundations. I used it consistently. I loved it. It just looked skin-like on me. It wasn't heavy. It was more of a light to medium coverage foundation, which is what I'm going for these days. Um, it didn't break me out. The reason that I'm not gonna use this anymore is because it does contain SPF 15 and it's chemical SPF. And I really don't wanna use chemical SPFs on my face. So yeah, it's a good one, but I wish they would make it without the chemical SPF in it. It does come with the pump. The only thing with these foundations is they don't have a good color selection. I have the shade Warm Ivory and it's just not the right 
color for me. I mean, I can make it work. I would blend it down my neck, but, and because it's a lighter cover, it's not so heavy. It's not as noticeable. I don't know. I feel like it, maybe it's a hint too neutral pink-ish, and I wish it was more yellow based, but it's not. So they need to really expand their color selection. I used up the Bliss Micro Magic Skin Renewing Microdermabrasion Scrub. Um, my husband probably used this more than I did. I had this in the shower and it's just like a very finely milled like exfoliant. And he loves this type of stuff. Every time I put this kind of product in the shower, he uses it on his face consistently. So super boost your cleansing routine with this straight from the spa scrub. Fine volcanic pumice removes pore polluting buildup. Daily cleansers may leave behind for skin that's softer and smoother. It is cruelty free. Anyway. I liked it, but I wouldn't repurchase it. I think I got it at Target. I wouldn't repurchase it just because I like this for a tone, uh, this for an exfoliator better than like an actual scrub <laughs> on my face. So, so I started purchasing this and this is like what I'm gonna stick to. It's the Hello Naturally Fresh Antiseptic Mouthwash. And right now I'm trying a different, I'm trying the one with blue. What is this one? Natural Fresh Mint. I think the other one's, I don't know, might be peppermint. I'm not sure. So these are not tested on animals. Kills germs, freshens breath, rocks taste buds, no alcohol. Uh, it says natural fresh mint with farm grown peppermint. No alcohol, no dyes, no artificial sweeteners, flavors, no SLS or sulfates, no brainer, which is kind of funny. And I like the little barcode down here because it's like a picture of a bottle. Isn't that cute? So um, it has methanol point, 0.2% and yeah, I think this works good. I like it. I'm going to continue using this. That's what I'm, that's what I'm using now. Um, so this is the Soothing Shave Gel Plus Soy. It's comparable to Avino Active Naturals Positively Smooth Shave Gel. So I don't use shave gels all the time. I do feel like they do give a nicer, smoother shave, but I don't feel like I necessarily need them. Sometimes I just use soap and water and shave my legs, but I do feel like it's a little nicer when I do use a shaving cream. I just forget to buy them. And yeah, there was nothing wrong with this. It was good. Um, the only thing is I don't like it that it has soy. I try to avoid soy dairy, gluten. Gluten is the biggest one for me. Soy is hard because it's in a lot of products, including chewing gum. So it makes it harder, but yeah, I just, I'm not going to repurchase that. I used up the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Lip Shine. This is really gross. It's been sitting in this bin for who knows how long. I think this is the second or third one I've used up. I really like this. I haven't purchased another one though. This is soft blush. It was more like a pinky nude color and now it's just like some gross kind of color but um it has hyaluronic acid in it and it just it was glossy wasn't sticky and it just felt nice and hydrating on the lips so I really like these that's why I used up more than one I used up the Madam Glam gel polish remover so so I do my own gel nails at home I don't have gel on right now. I thought I would take a break for a week and just use regular nail polish, but I typically do my gel nails every like two to three weeks. And the nail polish I always go back to is just Madame Glam. I love their nail polishes, their gel polishes, and they are, I think nine free, maybe 11 free, I can't remember. But um, they're cruelty free, they're vegan. And when I first started doing my gel nails, I was soaking them in acetone and I just hated that whole process. I hate soaking my fingers in acetone and having all that acetone kind of just absorb into my body. And then I just felt like it took forever. And I've also tried where you like kind of put a um, cotton ball on top with acetone and then I had these like nail clips that would go on top and it's just, it's just, I don't know, messy and it's just a process. It's a process. So when I discovered the Madam Glam gel 
polish remover, I decided to give it a try and I love this stuff. It is amazing. I'll never go back to soaking them in acetone. So this is normally not the color that it is. It's usually like clear, but this one's like super old. It's been sitting in this bin. So what you do with this is you file off the top coat of your gel polish. Then you take a really thick coat of this, put it on top of the nail polish, let it sit for like five minutes and then you just scrape it off and it's so much easier. So if you do your own gel nails, I highly recommend trying this. It's amazing. I just have some mascaras and brow products. So I have the Essence, the False Lashes Mascara. You know, Essence is one of my favorite lash mascaras. They do some good mascaras. They're super affordable. They're under $5. So this one's the Extreme Volume and Curl. This one was nice. I liked it. It has a curved brush. This is the type of brush that I like on a mascara wand. Um... It just really gives some length, some volume, doesn't get clumpy. Again, it's under $5. So um, this is another one that I use is the Falsies Lash Mascara Dramatic Volume Unlimited. Oh. So my favorite is the Lash Princess, but I feel like these are kind of similar. Like the brushes are very similar. Um, so yeah, I like this one as well. This is my favorite kind of brush right here. This shape, this size, it's just perfect. It's just perfect. So again, some volume, some length, no clumpiness. Love these. These are two of these L'Oreal Brow Stylist Boost and Set Brow Volumizing Mascaras. And I think both of these are the same shade. Yeah. light brunette yeah so i like a brow mascara wand that's super small like this it just really calm i like to like flick my hairs up a little comb through them um this is all i really use on my brows now i don't like to really fill them in very often i just fill them in with the brow product with the brow mascara and that just just does the job for me they don't look too bold but they look more defined you know it just makes them look like they have more hair than they really do. So I love these. Um, I'm currently using a Physician's Formula with a similar wand that I really like. And then I used up my ColourPop Precision Brow Pencil. And this is in the shade Champagne Blonde. There's enough in here to show you the color. And right now I'm using another one that's almost gone and it's called Dope Taupe. So these are affordable, it has a spoolie on the end and sometimes with these, I just like to like fill in right here cause like you can see there's a little hair missing there. So I'll just kind of fill it in there. Maybe sometimes once in a while I'll fill in back here but not very much cause I mo mostly use the brow mascara but I do really like these and I'm currently using the Dope Taupe shade once in a while, I just use it to fill in a little here and there, but I pretty much just use the brow mascara. And lastly is the Marc Jacobs mascara. This is Velvet Muir Major Volume Mascara. This is a sample. And this was a nice mascara. Definitely wouldn't purchase a full size though. I think it did. So it did give me some volume and some length. I just don't prefer this shape of wand. It's like an hourglass shape. I just like it to be skinnier on the end so I can kind of use the tip to like get in there. But um, it was nice, but I don't think it's worth the money. I don't know. I'm just not one to spend a lot of money on mascaras. Oh, I lied. There's two more things. So I used up my Catrice Prime and Fine Dewy Glow Fixing Powder. This is my favorite setting spray. It just makes you look nice and glowy and dewy and it's awesome. It really just melts your makeup together. So this is definitely my favorite. I'm using another one right now. Yeah, this one's almost gone too. So yeah, this is my go-to. I love that stuff. Okay, this I believe is the last thing. This is the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream. I had several of these in my last declutter, my last declutter, in my last empties. So this is a moisturizing cream for normal to dry skin. It moisturizes, restores, and maintains protective skin barrier with ceramides and hyaluronic acid. So I was recommended this by my dermatologist 
long ago, years and years ago, because I have eczema on my hand, only on this finger here. And honestly, like my hands look, are looking really grummy right now. Do you see like they're all dry? Look at that. Like in my heels, you guys, because I live in Arizona, so it does get very cold in the morning and the evenings, but during the day, it can be cold on some days, but other days it's 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 good. Like you don't really need a sweater or maybe like a light long sleeve shirt. So we still wear like sandals during the winter time <laughs> and our feet, our heels get dry from wearing sandals consistently. So this stuff works miracles. So what I did is I just scrubbed and filed my heels really well. And then I put this, like I lathered this on with some socks. Like I put this on and then I put socks on top. I slept with my feet like that overnight. When I woke up in the morning, my skin, my skin on my heels, it looked like 99% better. It was, it's amazing. So I love this stuff. It's just very moisturizing and this is just my go-to moisturizer. All right guys, so that wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'm sorry for not filming for several days. I hope I can just get back into the swing of things. There's so much to do. I just feel overwhelmed to be honest with you. I need to declutter my brushes. Like this vanity, like I've rearranged my room a little bit, but my vanity, my brush collection is just out of control and I need to declutter. Um, I have Christmas presents all over here, all over the floor, which is overwhelming me. Thinking of wrapping them all, um, trying to fi finish last minute Christmas shopping. It's just overwhelming for me right now. But if it's nice when I always sit down and start filming, I always feel better, you know? So I just need to do it. I just need to do it. I just don't always feel next. And I feel like you guys might be bored of my videos from Vlogmas, like what I'm eating. And I don't know. I just have the same routine almost every day go to the gym, sometimes the doctor's appointments or the chiropractor, uh, maybe run one errand, put my son down for a nap and then try to clean around the house or something. Like, I don't know, it's just like the same thing every day. So I don't wanna do those videos every time I do a Vlogmas video. I just need to like find other videos that I can film here and there. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching and I love you guys. Have a great day.